My name is William Mahan, Oklahoma City. I've been with EXP, this is my fourth year, uh, so I'm about three years and eight or nine months in. Um, Micah and Hamoudi caught me at the right time um, in my, in my uh, career, in my real estate career, and, um, and made the move, best decision I've ever made in my life, so thank you guys for that. Um, so I am going to talk about Lunch and Learns. Um, this is something that's helped me grow my revenue share. It's helped me grow my group. Um, and it's also given me confidence to be able to speak to other agents or other groups um, about eXp. And um, it also gives you a lot of social media content, too. You know, when you're posting you know, your lunch and learns, it's just giving you that extra social media presence, um, that value add that you're doing. So um, I follow... Um, people in EXP that I want to emulate. And one of those was Pat Hayes, and he's masters the lunch and learn. Um, so I approached Micah and I said, hey, I want to, you know, I want to do lunch and learns. I don't know how to do them. I don't know what to do. So I came to Micah and we partnered together and we created a system. And the system's duplicatable. Anybody can do it. Um, we actually took a little bit out of what Pat, Pat was doing and, and then me and Micah got together and we created this system that we currently do, I do, um, and that my agents are going to hopefully start doing, Sarah. And, um, and so, um, <laughs> so Lunch and Learns, um, I'm just going to cover the process of the Lunch and Learn, the meat and potatoes of the actual Lunch and Learn. Micah just did a great job at the presentation. And I will tell you, if you don't feel comfortable presenting, then I would partner with somebody that is comfortable with presenting until you get to that point. And that's what I did. That's why I went to Micah. I want to do them, but I didn't feel comfortable on the presentation part. She does an amazing job, so we partnered together. Over time of watching her do it, being involved with the Lunch and Learns, I got very comfortable um, with the presentation part. And so now I, now I run them um, on my own and I actually partner with my people in my front line on purpose. I drag them in, hey, I'm a partner with you, I'm a partner with you. And they come kicking and screaming, but I partner with them um, and I co-brand it with them because that's exactly how I got to that point with Micah. So I'm trying to duplicate that. Um, how do you? It's like the volume Okay. So the very first step would be to find a sponsor or two. Very easy to find a sponsor for a lunch and learn. These people that you partner with every single day, they are waiting for you to ask them to come partner with you and get in front of realtors. Examples, title companies, lender mortgage companies, uh, roofers, contractors, inspectors, pool companies, foundation repair companies, Anybody that's involved in our transaction or the real estate community, they would love to come sponsor a Lunch and Learn for you. So that would be your first really initial step is finding a sponsor. Your second step would be location. This is very, very, very important. We do them at a restaurant. This restaurant has a separate room. And the reason we do them at a restaurant is because A, Whoever's sponsoring it does not have to cater in food. They don't have to buy for 50 and only 10 show up. That's, you know, so it's efficient this way because just like you guys are sitting here, the waiters are coming in or you're ordering somewhere and then they're bringing the food out um, as you're presenting. You can do it in an office. I actually do it at office sometimes too, um, and we cater in food. Um, but restaurant, office, doesn't matter. Find you a spot um, and then promote it, right? And that location has to have a few must-haves, um, preferably a TV, right, with a, an airplay system, somewhere you can screen share your laptop for your presentation. Wi-Fi, when I say Wi-Fi, a pretty good strong Wi-Fi. Um, the worst thing is getting up there and presenting and it's lagging behind while you're trying to do a presentation. So make sure it has a good Wi-Fi connection 
And then the last must have um, is a space to interact before and after. You know, you don't want to find a small confined space, um, just, you know, a space where you can interact before and after. The invite process. So we find a location, we find a sponsor. Now what? We create a flyer on Canva, and I'll show you guys some examples here in a second, but we get on Canva and we create a flyer. Um, we create a Facebook event. Eventbrite is for our registration, so on our, on our Facebook events, on the flyer, everywhere uh, is the Eventbrite registration. They actually have a QR code now you can put on, uh, put on the flyers. But this is important just to get a running total of how many people are coming, just have a general idea. Uh, but Eventbrite is important. So once you create your Facebook page and your flyer, you're gonna start posting it on, on, on Facebook, right? You're gonna put it on your page, your timelines, your stories. But the most effective is that personal invite. So create your flyer, create your Facebook event, and then send private messages. Private messages, private invites. And then obviously have your agents in your group, right? Partner with the agents in your group. Get them to share it. Get them to personally invite. Encourage them to, hey, this isn't just for me putting it on. This is actually for you guys, right? I'm just hosting it. You guys get out there. You guys go invite. Make that personal invite with those Oh, with the flyer and the Facebook event pages. So this is, this is an example of a few flyers that, you know, that we've made on Canva. So obviously you have your um, location, the date, you know, who's hosting it. Um, another thing that we've done and that we do is we do a value add. So we do a class prior to the lunch and learn. So Micah's done her business plan, uh, how to create a bulletproof business, right? So that, that's at 11.30. So we do 11.30 to 1. So 11.30 to 12, we do a value add class. So I've done uh, Keys to Success, um, Script Master, and that's just a 30-minute value add class before you get into the EXP Explain presentation. I think, Micah, I think once we... I think once we did this, I think it increased agent count, right? I'm just that value add piece. It's going to start out slow. Even if you have one person, you still do it. Over time, it's going to build up. And yes, I mean, I would say 90% of agents that came either joined or if PSP agents came, they were almost resold on the vision of ESP. Right, absolutely. Um, when, me, when Mike and I first started, again, we, this was a long term process for us. It was a marathon, just like real estate in general. I think we had one person show up, or maybe two, right? And then five, and then 10, and then 15. Um, Last year, during COVID, we couldn't even fit one people in the room. Yeah, I actually have a photo of one of those. Yeah. So uh, just a, you know, this is just a photo of our Lunch and Learn. You know, we have our banner set up. We had the TV with the, uh, you know, a good Wi-Fi. Um, we've got our AirPlay system going, and... Um, a lot of space. Another, another example of what all that, this is a packed full house. We actually had to get a, a whole table, a whole new table over here. Uh, I think that's Sarah, there you go. <laughs> so have your agents invite, just an example. These ladies right here are all from um, Lawton, which is where Sarah's from. She invited, she invited these girls and they, every single one of them signed up that day or the next day, right? So, um, very important, right? Very important to um, get your agents involved. You're doing it really for them too. Um, so, um, let me see here. Just a, a more examples of, of our room. Um, space. So, you, this is an office setting, and I just kind of wanted to throw this, like show this photo because Space is something that's very important. So this is at a restaurant, right? Food's, food's brought into them. 
This is an office setting. You kind of see how closed in it is. There's not a whole lot of room to interact there. There's still TVs. We still do it. We, you know, we bring in the box lunches, um, the Chick-fil-A, but it's kind of a more of a small confined space and there's not a whole lot of room for interaction, um, but you still can do it. You still can do it in an office setting like this, a conference room setting. So don't let the restaurant thing discourage you or say, I don't have a place to do it. You can find anywhere to do it. Um, your lenders, your title companies, not only will they sponsor, but they have plenty of conference rooms where you can be able to do that as well. Um, okay, so we found a location. We found a sponsor. We created our Facebook events. We created our, our graphics. We're doing personal invites. We're putting it everywhere on social media. We're just pumping it out there. Now what? The presentation part's very important. That's the meat and potatoes. So make sure that you have a good present like presentation. Um, I'm sure Michael will share this video. She'll share her slides with you. Um, just make sure you have a good presentation for that. If not, partner with somebody that does. Um, sign in. This is another very key uh, thing for, for your conversion and your agents. When they come in, we have an iPad set up and we create a Google sign-in uh, form. That sign-in form um, has name, number, email, um, current brokerage, and the agent that invited them. We make every guest sign in. Yeah. So what do you use uh, for them to sign in? So the Google form, do you just send out a link, or is that like an iPad? Yeah, it's an iPad. It's an iPad that you like pass around? Yep, exactly right. It's an iPad that we pass around, they sign in and hit a button to complete and the next form pops up for the next person to sign in. It's gotcha. super efficient. But the, uh, you, uh, it's a Google sheet, a form. Or the agent, like make sure the agent that invited them, that section's in there. Um, it just shows two things. It shows that your agents that they can feel confident and comfortable inviting agents, even if they're not there. I've had agents that can't make it and they'll say, hey, I got two people coming, right? Well, those two people, if that agent's not really there, this is what really protects them. And I say protect them, that's not the right word, but you know what I mean, it just... It's not tied to EXP, but at least we know who it is. Who, invited who yeah, who invited them, right, right. Um, after party. This is why the space is important because this is really where the conversion happens. This is, this is, we save about 30 minutes after and it's our meet and greet time. A lot of agents will come up to us and ask us questions. Um, it's that belly to belly interaction. Um, this is really where the conversion happens after um, it's that one-on-one -on -one time. So I think that, you know, saving 30 minutes after the presentation, allotting that time is super valuable, super important as well um, for that. And again, that's kind of where I go back to the space part. It's kind of uh, important to have a little bit of space for that as well. Um, Follow-up email. This is what we were just talking about. So when they register, it's important to get everyone's information and myself or Micah, whoever's presenting, you know, while, they're, while they are um, putting their info in, we're letting them know, hey, we're going to send you value add after this. We're going to send you um, the script master course or Micah has how to generate 100 leads in 10 days. And so we create that value add email. It's a follow up email thanking them for coming and then attach a, a value add item. Whether it's a course or a YouTube video or a free book, I'm, I'm, I don't want to speak for Micah, but I'm sure they can use some of your resources. 100%. 100%. So if you don't have any resources, she has a site full of them. So take those resources and attach them in an email um, as your follow-up email. And then always have a call to action with that email as well. Go here, do this, lead them somewhere. Um, so what would that call to action be? And, and just an example, like what would you put as a, a call to action? Um, yeah, yeah join.exp.realty.com. Oh, like, 
put that just sure so my emails always say next steps next steps do your due diligence by checking out join.exprealty.com you yep. always want to lead them to what that next step is okay yep that's it right there that that join really um next step and then that link so you have an item of value and then you have a call to action so thanking them item of value call to action and it's really the, the same email that goes out all the time. So it's, it's something that, again, is duplicatable. Put it in the system. And then rinse and repeat, right? Just rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. The one thing I will tell you about Lunch and Learns is don't get discouraged. Don't think, I put all this time in, and we got it all set up, and the sponsors are ready, and two people show up. It's OK. It's actually going to happen. Um, so just expect that. But what we did was we committed to do this every single week, every single week, and then COVID hit. I think we did it for a year straight, maybe a year and a half straight of every week, um, sometimes every two weeks, um, and then COVID hit and we had to shut down. So now um, I'm really kind of ramping them back up right now in the Oklahoma City metro area. And Sarah, she's in my first line. She's about an hour and a half south of Oklahoma City in a town called Lawton, and we're going to start ramping them up down there as well. And um, she's going to be the one presenting and, and doing them all. So. Yes, absolutely. What about online? What do you mean? I mean holding them online, doing like virtual uh, calls or virtually in the, in the world. Yeah, I mean, I think obviously anything can be done, right? Um, for me, that personal 30 minutes after is the value for the lunch and learn for us, right? I mean, I'm telling you, that 30 minutes after, that's, that, that's where the conversion happens. So, Micah, do you have anything else? But, yeah, I mean, obviously, a Zoom, I just... I like to go Facebook Live while I'm in there, like, watching them talk, and I can see what realtors are watching, and then send a message, like, hey, you should come to the next one. It's going to be next Friday. Right. Oh, that's a good idea. I think the social media part of it, in terms of just the photos, the Facebook lives, like Sarah said, um, going live, streaming, just anything, right? Anything inside of that room that you're posting online, um, super valuable, because they're like, hmm, am I missing something? What's going on? I see a lot of agents in that room, right? Any, anything else? Super easy, right? It, like anybody can do this, right? I mean, right? Right?